So that was unfortunate what happened there, but I couldn't move correctly. Like, I, I, I was trying to run around the tur turret to disable it, but I couldn't seem to move correctly. I should have shocked it, because that would have paralyzed it. Thankfully, when I die, I don't have to re-listen to the audio logs. So it's got that going for me. Ow. There we go. Hack. Time to get really used to Pipe Dream. It's risky. It's very risky. There we go. Join me. Hey, it's not even bloody this time. Bad news for you, lady. There we go. And generally, my strategy is to shoot and attack directly as little as possible. Otherwise, bad happens. Let's do a little save, so I don't have to redo that again. There we go. So, I was trying to maneuver around this thing and it, it kept trapping me somehow. Like, I couldn't walk correctly. Did it just power on? That was menacing. Ow! Dude, you're responsive. It attacks you on sight very quickly. So I believe if you get- if you touch any of the... the dangerous looking naughty spots, uh... I believe they explode. God, there's a lot of visual chaos to parse right here. I'm not great at that. There we go. A lot of visual chaos to parse on the fly uh, under a time limit. Uh, I believe if the they weren't there, but the last one had like the or the explodey looking tiles. I think if you direct the flow into one of those, it actually explodes in your face and, and damages or kills you. All right, so now I've got a couple of turrets around here to help me out. Hey, healing kits. I'm gonna need those for all the damage I'm taking. Hey, friendo. I think you might eventually get powers that kind of help you take things over a little faster or something like that. Or you can upgrade your hacking or something. You got special ammo. Press B and the mouse wheel to change ammo type. That sounds like great, uh, great hotkeys. Pick the right ammo for the right enemy. Yeah, I believe the idea is, oh, you can press B or the mouse wheel. No, B and the mouse wheel? Wait, but B already does it. Why would I use the mouse wheel? Whatever, I'll just press B. So armor piercing rounds, that should be good for anything with armor, like the big daddies. Pistol rounds are pistol rounds. The other one I think is... is I think the other ones are are flame rounds, which are good for uh, unarmored, unarmored normal splicer types. We're, we're making a little bank here. Let's go back to that audio log. I was trying to get the fights to go away before I tried listening to something. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. What a lovable fellow. <laughs> Oops, that was cigarettes was not probably the best call. Oh well, quick heal. Oh, another one. Really the- oh, I, why did I pick those up? Those weren't even gonna heal me. Hi. Come over here! Come over here! Ah! Okay, watch out. Friendly fire's a thing. I need to watch out. If I direct them in the right- in the wrong spot, they'll shoot me. 
while trying to shoot the other thing. The AI is not very discriminatory. I think by design. Steinman kills. I just, yeah, I would guess. I would guess so. He doesn't seem like the nicest. I was at German prison camp, only at 16 years old, when I realized I have love for science. German doctor. He make experiment. Sometimes he makes scientific error. I tell him of this error, and this make him angry. But then he asks, how can a child know such a thing? I tell him sometimes I just know. He screams at me, then why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. Tenenbaum, now there's an important character to keep in mind. Take a look at that. First of all, is there an enemy right here? It must be upstairs. Their footsteps are so nearby. This is made by Irrational Corporations or whatever. Enterprises? I can't read the bottom part as well, but the top part says Irrational, which is the game developer. Hi. Nope. Nope. That's not nice. Getting my money's worth. <laughs> Flash was trying to heal at a health station. Excuse me. Got him. You had to use a bullet. The automated att attackers aren't the most effective fighters. But if they eventually win, then I didn't have to shoot. <laughs> and even one bullet's not the worst. Twilight Fields, Funeral Homes. I think this is a Metroidvania mechanic right here. And then I need to get a, the ability to melt it. Dr. Steinman's aesthetic ideals. I'd rather not. I'd rather not enter into that realm if I can avoid it. See, how hackable are you? Mostly you just want to open every single one, I want to say. This has to be one of the only parts that's... Like, a lot of this game's designed for consoles. Just across the board, but I th this is like got to be one of the things that's easier to do without being a console player. Uh, Jesus, I hate searching for the right ones. Like I can move, I can move stuff around so much more quickly here than I ever could on a, on a uh, with a controller. Yeah, cost is reduced, and enemies who use it will take damage. Yep. So it costs less to do. It's not free. You don't get an infinite free health. Unlike, uh, unlike, uh, System Shock 2, where once you set up a, a health spot, it would just infinitely heal you forever every time you came back to it, which is very useful. Uh, but this one, yeah, we just saw that lady run away and try to heal herself. And if she had, uh, if she had done that on one that I'd hacked, then they would have taken damage instead, which seems like they'd likely die because they're running there in the first place because they're out of health. Steinman kills Eve. Running on empty? Fill up on Eve. Only the best for the discerning customers. Every Everything you see around here has the general feel of that era where it was totally okay to advertise cigarettes as being not only totally good, okay, but good for you. And even a fix for many medical ailments, because you could just lie or actively encourage people to do things that were incredibly detrimental to themselves. With no responsibility to admit the fact that you were full of shit. Hello. The Circus of Value! So I can buy all sorts of ammo here. Probably might want to in some cases. What do you do again? Are you just more ammo? 
Yeah, it's just it's just a it's just a vendor that's better at selling ammo specifically. Not the worst idea, although I'm doing pretty okay at the moment. I might want to I might want to save up. I don't remember what else I'm, money is good for. I, I don't specifically. I can't remember if you spend money to get skills. I think you spend Adam to get skills, so it might be actually my, money might be totally irrelevant unless you're trying to get uh, ammunition and health items and stuff. But for the moment, I'm doing okay. Been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines. I should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. Oh, interesting. Suddenly there's some kind of demand for like government regulation and this need to deal with you know, people whose free decisions might infringe upon what you want. Hey, mister. How you doing? Do you have a gun or am I... Oh, you have explosives. Okay. You could take care of that, friend. Oh, crap. Don't kill it. Might have to give you... Might have to give you special attention so you don't kill my thing that I don't want to have dead. Dude has health for days. He's also about to kill himself over there, I think. Oh, no. He was going over to use it. It would have it would have hurt him. I don't know if he tried or not. Nitro splicer. That guy had tons of health. Maybe that's what I need to do his armor piercing on? He didn't seem armored, but his health seemed armored. They had a bad time. Oh, you poor guy. If only I could fix you. Can I? Deactivate. No. Nope. All I can do is deactivate and reactivate you. I don't think I have the ability to repair you at the moment. Wait, did you stop? Wait, did you just stop burning? Wait, did that actually heal you? I didn't know if that was the thing, the case. Uh. In loving memory of Winston Hoffner. When Picasso became bored of painting people, he started representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could do with a knife what that old Spaniard did with a brush? No, not a great idea, honestly. What does the map have on it? Oh, hey. Oh, this is more articulate than I expected. I forgot about the map. Neat. Yeah, so that's what he did to that guy's face. And he signed his work. Uh. So this guy died. They made a- they made a- a shrine to his passing. This, I don't know why there's two, that's a little weird. But, uh, they made, they made this place to memorialize his death. And then I assume Steinman then showed up afterwards and took a picture of what he did to the guy's face. Uh, pasted that over one of the memorials. And then signed his work. So he's a real piece of shit. Also, he doesn't pick up his garbage, so he's, like, extra shitty. An all-around class act. It's definitely gonna bother me that this that it, it can't quick save well enough, but it's not a super long save. Better than not saving. Also, right off the bat, there's in, there's indications that Tenon Bomb is probably Nazi-ish. So that thing tries to catch me. I have to be out of its line of sight or bad happens. It has a countdown, and until that countdown goes away, you're still making progress towards being detected, and bad things can happen. So stay out of the light. Thankfully it has a nice obvious light to tell me that, I, that it knows I'm here. Excuse me. There we go. It's hacking time! 
Y'all got any more pipe dream? They t yeah, I don't, th I don't think you can rotate them. Uh, I'm not gonna be that greedy. Let's be careful here. I was gonna try redirecting it at the last second, but I'm not. I didn't have time to deal with that right now. There we go. Hacked cameras work for you, spotting enemies and sending bots after them. Yeah, so if you're uh, right, they're not turrets. They summon these guys. So anyone spotted by this thing will be attacked by those things because it'll summon them. And at the moment, fuck all is going to happen to me here. We're good. Generally a good idea to hack basically everything, if I remember correctly. Does it come... Hacker's Delight. That's what I thought. It comes out with something else. With Hacker's Delight, your body converts the altered current from a hacked machine into a powerful healing agent. Hack and heal. So now whenever I hack something, I also heal my health. Very powerful ability to have. You picked up your first physical tonic. Physical tonics make you stronger or more powerful. They're equipped with uh, separately from plasmids and other types of tonics. Right there. I have two slots for them. Looks like I'll have a lot more in the long term. Forgot about tonics. That's good to have. So now I'm being gonna be rewarded for my behavior up until this point. She seems nice. Hey, you. Nope. Excuse me. I want to test my toy. I don't think this even makes noise that people notice. I don't think this game really even has stealth mechanics overall. It's fun to play with. Come on. I just want to see you get attacked by everything. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> Startling. Yeah. Well, it won't work. Ooh, you can attack by my 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 friend. No, you killed it. You killed him. Okay, he seem they seem more durable than expected. Wow, these guys are getting a lot harder to kill. You killed my friend. Ooh. I guess we're getting our firepower soon. Oh, or that's it. Incineration. When it absolutely positively has to erupt in flames, don't wait. Incinerate. It's even in a nice little tutorial room. Isn't that nice? Hello, tutorial people. How are you guys doing? Thank you for being a part of my demonstration. He's saying that they put stuff out that makes everyone do what he wants to do. Sounds a lot like a subversion of the entire government system. That he was setting up. Oh well. Nothing says free enterprise like mind control. Where did he die? I guess the corpse just disappears. I called it a corpse. I mean, my uh, my gun buddy being dead. I guess it I guess it just goes away because I was looking for its remains to see if it could loot or not. Uh, 
I like me some pistol rounds. Oops, that's not the reload button. Well, there goes one of those. Oops. They all just had- they, these were all thugs- thug splicers, so they didn't have any guns for me to pick up. Unfortunate. Gonna be very thorough, because there's so many places to hide things in these games. Like there. When am I gonna get my shotgun to use that stuff with? Back to the beginning. This is basically just a path to get incinerate. Right, because I need that in order to melt the ice. That was that was actually important. Coffee, what do you do? Ooh. Coffee. It just gives so no loss of health, but it gives me it gives me Eve. So it's the equivalent of food items, basically. Cigarettes and alcohol give are give and take, but coffee and food are just hey, you want that meter up? Got it. You got it, buddy. Let's see here. I can go forward and down, or I can go through this hallway or right in front of me, or I can go back through here, which seems like a bit of a dead end. Twilight fields. The water effect gets a little... little excessive. I hear camera. Hi, friend. Ooh, effective. Very effective. Where is camera? I hear it. But I don't see it. Oh, four, five, one. <laughs> yep. Ref holding its, uh, the history on its, its, its lineage on its sleeve. This, this coffin is full of food. Yep, so the the password to something is 0451. Because it's because they always put the password 0451 in these kinds of games. It's a cold mark of the genre. I did not mean to right click. Apparently right click is also enter. I found out very abruptly when it tried to do that. Okay. Sh they kept their shoes here. Yeah, this is where I keep my shoes and my bullets. Automatic hack tool. Neat. Use it to hack for free. Once, I believe. Once. I don't remember if you level up your hack skill in this game, or if, that, if there even are skills like that, or if you just play the mini game, but it gets harder and harder over the course of the campaign. Ah! <laughs> Rawr! Ah! <laughs> How you feeling, lady? How you feeling? Feeling good? Ow. They're probably fine. Don't worry about it. They had cake on them! Yay! I love that she basically just actually went rawr! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! No! Bad! Ouchie! No! Don't do that! That was bad time. Okay. I'm probably overclicking, honestly, by doing every single one, but you know, you never know. There we go. It's not until there's hazard tiles you really have to worry about your strategy playing pipes out. Uh, sorry, pipes out. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I've done so much pipe dream and lights out that the two of them are overlapping in my brain now. I'm really concerned about that. I don't like that. Uh, Jesus. Thank God there's no lights out in this game as far as I know. But, uh... Once there's hazard tiles, your path starts mattering, but if, if there's no hazard tiles, then it really doesn't matter what your order of operations is. Your goal is to get from one side of the place to the other side of the place, so anything that makes you closer is correct, and then the order doesn't matter, because you could rearrange the order and still get the same end result. 
Hello, you're on my team now. I don't know if you'll ever shoot anything because this is a really obscure part of the map, but I mean, I'll take it. Hacking's free, and I can lure someone here if I want to. In fact, I can lure somebody in here and then go hide behind this where I'm safe as they get shot to death approaching me. That's fun. Not the worst time for a little quick save. A moment of quiet. Probably doing this a little often, but I'd rather not suffer the consequences of forgetting. This looks really good for a 2007 game, by the way. I know this is the remaster, but I heard the remaster wasn't really that big, big that big of a change. Much like Dark Souls remastered, it was largely just they were porting it to the current generation consoles, and then the PC people just kind of got it again. <laughs> Hey, it runs a little better, maybe, except for the fact that at launch it was plagued by horrible crashing problems. But hey, those are gone now, so... All good? Oh, I know where we are. Oh, I don't like this. No. It's really creepy. New engineering tonic, security expert. A new offering in the hack smart line. Security expert was designed for the hacker specializing in disabling electronic security measures. You won't be secure without security expert. Reduces difficulty when hacking turret spots and cameras. Okie dokie. So it just means they're less, uh, the, either the, the time you're given is longer or there's fewer hazards or both. I don't like this. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ow. How did you even hit me? I was far away from you. Stop that. That bastard. That fucking shadow, and then he just disappears. Everyone's got their traps. So that cabinet right there is connected to the other side. Reminds me a lot of, of a lot of post-apocalyptic scenario uh, movies and whatnot and shows where like all the random survivors have like their strategies for surviving because they've made it this far. So they'll have little traps and tricks here and there and as you walking into this you have to deal with all their surprises that are waiting for you. Because if they don't have surprises they wouldn't be alive anymore. Can't go into there can you? Yeah, there's a lot of dead ends in this game that... There's a lot of dead ends that largely amount to like, Hey, I'll check out this little upgrade over here. That's all my kind can do, huh? Oh boy. Hurt help. <laughs> Ow. Illegal. That wasn't very nice. Alright, didn't quite go as planned. I gave it a shot. Uh... These things wake up way more slowly than you would hope, for starters. That, that creates problems for me. Keep your eye on the parasite. Keep your eye on the parasite. It's just not nice. It's just rude. Everyone's calling me a parasite. I seem very self-sufficient if you ask me. That's shooting at him, right? It's just through the wall. Don't worry. I'm a professional. Does he does he know not to go into the range? He knows not to he knows not to go in front of the turret. That's funny. Whoopsie! Ow, did I just get shot? Oh, by I got shot by the turret, right. Grazing though, like a particle of damage. Yeah. Right, so because I left and came back, a bunch of enemies kind of filtered in. Yeah, at this point I've got a lot of ammo, I should probably do something with it. Do a start hack. Oh boy. Oh, it's going that way. It's going that way. Uh, uh, that way, that way. Uh, da, 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 da. This might be a little harder. Uh, 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 there we go. 
there's sort of an arc to the difficulty and tension of those hacking minigames. It's the beginning part that's the toughest because you're searching rapidly across the board to just try to find tiles you can use. Meanwhile, it's crawling its way across what might be an only a three tile track. And if it reaches the end, you lose. And uh, yeah, more items available and reduced prices. Machine gun rounds times 40, not bad. Stock up a little bit. 